In our last video, we learned about what vitamin B12 is and why it's important. Now we're going to go over signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency. There are a wide range of symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, from mild to severe, which can affect your body, your mind, and your mood. Now, in general, you want to look for signs of fatigue or lack of energy, muscle weakness, and or tingling in your extremities, your hands or your feet. You also need to be aware of mental fogginess or problems with your memory or trouble sleeping. Mood swings, especially feelings of apathy or lack of motion, are also things to be aware of. Now, here's the important part. Even though vitamin B12 is water-soluble, it doesn't exit our body quickly like other water-soluble vitamins. B12 is stored in your liver, kidneys, and other body tissues, and as a result, a deficiency may not show itself for a number of years. This time lag is a serious concern because after about seven years of B12 deficiency, irreversible brain damage can result. Other symptoms of long-term chronic B12 deficiency can include depression, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, anemia, neurological and neuropsychiatric conditions, female fertility and childbearing problems, and also heart disease and cancer. So, what causes this vitamin B12 deficiency in the first place? First of all, the risk of B12 deficiency increases as we age. Since B12 is found in animal products, if you are a vegan or a vegetarian who does not consume enough eggs or dairy products, it is likely that you will not get enough vitamin B12 unless you are getting it in supplement form. Heavy drinking can also cause a deficiency of vitamin B12. Long-term use of acid-reducing drugs, such as antacids or proton pump inhibitors like Nexium, Prevacid, or Prilosec, greatly reduce your body's ability to absorb B12. Another prescription drug that causes serious risk for B12 deficiency is the blood sugar drug metformin, which is also known as glucophage. Now, B12 can also be decreased by conditions affecting the small intestine, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, a bacterial overgrowth, or a parasite. Bariatric surgery, or weight loss surgery, where part of the stomach is removed, is a major cause of vitamin B12 deficiency. People who have had the gastric bypass or gastric sleeve surgeries definitely need to be concerned about vitamin B12 deficiency. An autoimmune disease called pernicious anemia, in which your immune system attacks something called intrinsic factor, makes it extremely hard for your body to absorb vitamin B12. Other autoimmune or immune system disorders, such as lupus or Graves' disease, also cause vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, supplementing with vitamin B12 is simple and inexpensive, so if you are deficient, it's not too difficult to get your levels back to where they should be. In the next few videos, I'll go over what types of B12 are best for most people to take and why they should take them or why they're the best for them. So feel free to share this video if you know people who might benefit from this information. Please like our Facebook page to ensure that you'll see future videos like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.